Hey there everyone, welcome back. This is Defending the Dark Side's behind the scenes video. It is also the video for Big Kill. This is Alucard 22 1984 on YouTube, also known as MSTER Alucard 2284. Now, we got another unboxing video for you guys today. This unboxing video is, of course, the special one. This is a big, big unboxing video. I've got lots of things unboxed and a lot of things to review. Now, as many of you guys know, I'm a huge fan of esports, huge fan of the leagues, huge fan of MLG, MLG, Battlegrounds, everything. Now, one of the top teams at the moment is, of course, Swedish Parts. Now, I'm currently in Shetland. It's about less than 100 miles that way. Uh, we hit Norway and go slightly further down, you get Denmark. And that's, of course, the home to Steel Series. Now, I've got lots of stuff, lots of packets, lots of little things to unveil. I have never been so stressed out about stuff coming. These are very special, you'll find out more about that later on. And, of course, we've got a big box here. Now... I have been looking forward to getting uh, a knife for ages. So, first unboxing is of course my now unboxing knife. So, without further ado, let us tear into this. And I should, in theory, be able to get into this. And it should be here. Oh, well, I didn't pay that for it, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Hopefully you don't have tied already. <gasps> and you sent me in the wrong colour. Ah, oh, no matter. It's a shame, but no matter. Supposed to be black, but they've sent me in green. Dang, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Anyway, so here we go. I changed it so that I got it sent from Amazon. And all that. I should take my other knife out just to cut this. But anyway. As you can see, I'll probably edit that bit out later. Here we go. It's an... Oh shit, fucker, it's sharp. My new unboxing knife. I can't remember what they call it. It was supposed to be like a kunai throwing knife, but it's not. But anyway, that's the knife. Ha ha. So, our first unboxing, I think, in this box hopefully, wait and see, is the Steel Series Siberia V2. As you can see, straight from them. Uh, like I said, it came all the way from Denmark. As you can see from that. Uh, God, it's well packed. As you can see, as you can also see from the tape, it's from Steel Series. Hide that. Pop that there. And you can guys get to see in the box. Haha. -ha. Yes, it's the Zinavi one. Okay, pop that empty cardboard box down on the floor. Here we go. As you can see, it's the Steel Series. It's the Siberia V2. We got it on the box today. So, I'm super stoked. Super, 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 super stuff. It's bloody hell, it's been opened. Oh, -ho. not too sure if I like that or not, the fact that it's not taped up. But, mm, it did come from them, so hopefully there'll be not too many surprises. Dane's probably, Customs probably had their fit and feel with it. Oh, I'm only dropping the accessories. Aha! Another sticker. Ooh, cool. Uh, like I said, my laptop's going to get retired soon, even though it's already got a Steel Series sticker. Now, I have a Steel Series because I got a mouse mat, so this one's being kept for the new laptop, so I'll have to keep that safe. <sighs> Here we go. Not much accessories come with this, strangely enough. 
and so we shall unbox there pull this out hopefully comes out without a hitch oh here's that annoying plastic ha but the knife's unboxed so just cut that and you can see god they have a love for cable ties I'm sure Linus loves cable ties and keeps going on about how great they are to me they're a feckin' nuisance when they're not in a computer um so yeah this is it this is what I have been patiently waiting for for let's see what's the date on this day is the 8th and I ordered it on my birthday which was the 2nd so 6 days from Denmark which is quite good I was a little stressed out since I actually thought they were shipping it from the UK but here we go oh my god look at the freaking length on this wow right okay as you've heard in many other videos uh, but not really shown much of uh, I'll try and show you the best I can. Right, that's about a yard. That's about, well, not about a yard, maybe. Yeah, about that. So, if I try and do it that diagonal, you might be able to see it from fist to fist. So it's one yard. Two yards. That's two yards. That's the extension cable, which probably won't need much of, to be dead honest. Uh, everything I have is pretty much close to me. Uh, even with the PCs. Um, here we go, that's the actual length of the cable, all the way up. I know you can get out of the back ship, but there we go. That's the cable for that. So, there's a bit of oh, weird wonderful tape on this, let's see. Is this, oh, it's just cell tape, right, okay. So, in with the trusty knife. There we go. I love riz rigid black knives. Now, no, 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 no. Right. I don't know why so many people took so long unboxing this. It's 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 not taking too long. From start of opening the first box, we've done it in about seven minutes, and that's me going on about a knife as well. Uh, so that's that bit's off, and he, ooh, ooh, that's that's unusual. Ooh, don't know if I like that. The headband is a bit more flexible than I th looked on the thing. I thought it was a bit more steel-like, but it looks more like it's on elastic. It is. It is elastic. Let me phrase that. It is on elastic. So here we go. Here's what I've been waiting for. A Siberia V. Now, I will point out that I'm a very distinguished owner of Steel Series before, and I have the X Series that comes with for the Xbox, the black corded ones. However, unfortunately, due to traveling so much, they did get broken. The indestructible XB3s got fucked. <laughs> but I kept the br I kept the little thing, so I have one of them for the Xbox, so don't worry. Um, not that I play it much. Mostly it's the PS3 and the PS4. Now, this won't work with your PS3. I've looked on it. Uh, you end up buying a ton of cables you don't really need. PS4, on the other hand, is a little bit better. But getting more to that later on, on a later review. I'm going to slip this off. You should still be able to hear me, but I'll slip this off and put on these. Oh my god. The comfiness is like superior, really different. There we go. Hopefully you can still hear me pretty well. These are super comfy. And when I was telling you about I don't like the turning left and right. These ones don't. And they're really good. They're almost like noise cancelling. This is a bit of genius. I didn't like the look of it when I took it out of the box. But I do like it. And I do, it's super comfy. I could wear these all day and all night. I'm not going to. And I... Oh, I love this. You could sneak this into one of my face shields and I could still have a face shield. It'd be kind of cool. So I'll put that back away. And take these off. Hopefully you can see that. that, that, that that's weird. Ah, but see. As you can just see it, that should have gone upside down. That doesn't help. Right. You should be able to see Navi there. Now, I don't have a big head. A reasonable size head. I don't have a big head. I have a big eagle, probably. Well, I'll definitely agree with that. But 
far as the physical diameter of my head goes, no, it's not that big. And it fits so comfortably. A bit like these. However, these will give you a throbbing head um, after about four to five hours. I did play with friends of mine. Uh, we did some card training and it just about did my head in. I thought I was having a migraine. I took the headset off and it wasn't that. So that's a little bit more of a progress review on these, which I'll do at a later date. Now, this. This this is for all of you people who um, are on about the, the PS4. Okay. However, it does not tell you which is my... Oh, no, it does. Oh, it does. Haha, -ha, yes. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed it for. Right. Connect this into here. And then it should fit into your PS4 controller. Right there. Now, I'm going to take these off and put it on and see how we get on with the PlayStation. Turn, 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 turn. Into a standby moment, log off, PS4, back. Let's see how you sound. Uh, I know I don't have an Elgato at the moment, and I will do my best just to give you a quick auditory of... Well, I am getting audio. Let's see. coming from the headset, so that's a good sign. Devices, let's turn this bad boy off. Oh, audio devices. Headphone, headset and headphones. Ooh, I love the sound quality. You do, however, quick recommendation to all people working with a PS4, you do need to turn the hell of it up. But that volume control does it's okay but you really need I would actually say even possibly a mix up might be in, in order for the for the V2s. Um but definitely good sound. Um I'll probably do in a later review compare these two plus the kunai on the PS4 on a later date. But that being said, let's take these off. And you know something? The volume is m almost maxed out on the PS4. You still can't hear it outside. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'll pop that down there. This is me signing off. Catch you in a few days, probably.